Okay, so now on to exercise 2C question 3. Um, question 3D. Right, um, so as you can see, now we have a constant. So um, we've got to bear that in mind. So first of all, I'm going to write down A equal to. Remember, it's not the number at the start of the expressions. It's the coefficient of A square, uh, X squared. So it's minus 4. B is the coefficient of x, which is minus 16, and C is equal to a positive 10, that constant, which is also the y-intercept. So uh, the formula then, uh, a open bracket x plus b over uh, 2a, close bracket square, I'm trying to dictate it every time, so I can learn as well, b square over 4a plus c. So as I said, I don't use this formula uh, to solve this, but uh, since a lot of you prefer to use the formula, so I'm going to stick to this for now. Right, so substitution. So A, ah, so A is minus 4, so plus B is minus 16 over 2 times minus 4, minus B squared, six, minus 16, so minus 16 squared over 4 times minus 4 plus the constant 10 okay so let's tidy this up uh, minus minus makes a plus so that's going to be 16 over 8 which is going to be a simple number 2 and then now instead of doing minus 16 times 16 I'm just going to borrow some of these numbers in the denominators to see if I can cancel it down um, to save me from doing uh, long divisions. So, 4 times minus 4. Well, 4 go into 4 one time and 4 go into 16 four times. So, that's minus 4 and minus 4 go into minus 16 again four times. So, uh, let me just tidy this one. So. So let's just cross this out and say minus 4. And then that's 10. Right, so let's come back to this one first. So you can see minus 4 times 4 is going to be minus 16. And 1 times 1, now remember that minus already cancelled out. Okay, so 1 times 1 is 1 plus 10. So now you can see then, therefore, that minus minus makes a plus so it's a plus plus 16 because 16 over 1 is 16 so plus 16 plus 10 so it's going to be plus 26 and that is the final answer okay